Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do or we will discuss how to find the equation of the circle given the center and its radius. In our previous video, ang ginawa natin is we introduced circle as a part of the conic section in the pre-calculus. And then in our next video, after, before this, discuss na rin natin kung paano transform ang isang general form equation of a circle into its standard form o yung tinatawag natin sa center radius form. So, let's start doing this. Basically, if you want to find an equation of the circle given ang kanyang center at radius, you need to memorize yung tinatawag natin standard form o yung center radius form of the equation of the circle. Ito siya. You have here the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So yung h natin and k are basically the coordinates of your center at yung r natin is the radius of the circle. And then another form na kailangan nyo maintindihan or ma-memorize ay yung tinatawag natin general form of the equation of the circle. We have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero kasi hindi lang naman laging center radius form or standard form ang pinapahanap. So it, it is important for us to know also the general form of the equation of the circle. So do, without further ado, let's start finding the equation of the circle. So we have here example number one. Sabi dito, find the equation of the circle given the center at 10, 5 and a radius of 11. So again, clearly we are asked for the equation. But, hindi siya specified whether it is standard form or general form. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, dalawa na yung hahanapin natin to make sure na tama yung magiging sagot natin. So, let's start doing this. Given the center, you have here your center. Your center has the coordinate of 10,5. And then yung radius mo, which is yung r, is equal to 11. So basically, para mahanap yung dalawang equation, you need to write, eto, hindi masamang isulat mo yung, yung standard form. Kasi siya yung magiging um, parang basis mo. So sulat natin, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, hindi siya ganun kahirap kasi ang gagawin mo lang naman is you will just substitute the value of the needed variable. So, dito, sa ating center, this is your h and this is your k. Yung radius natin, this is your r. Ipapalit lang natin siya. So, let's start. You have your x and then look at your h since um, positive yan, as you can see, your h is positive. So, magiging minus 10 na lang yan. Ipapalit mo lang siya dyan. Then, raise to 2. Plus, y, your k is equal to 5 or positive 5. So, basically, it's minus 5. Parang inatouch lang natin. Because we have here, explain ko lang ha, baka, back sir, bakit hindi positive? So, try natin. Since this one, this one is positive, ang mangyayari is you will multiply negative, uh, sorry, positive times negative. So, magiging negative 5 tuloy ito ngayon. Same with 10. Yung 10 mo dito is a positive integer or number. Then, multiply it by the sign of this form. Negative times pos positive, it will give you a negative answer. So, we have y minus 5 squared is equal to 11. Your r is equal to 11, and then don't forget to raise it by 2. So, hindi pa yung final answer natin, ha? You can still simplify it. So, copy natin to x minus 10 squared plus y minus 5 squared. And then, yung 11 squared natin is 121. So, this is the standard form of the first problem. You have the quantity of x 
minus 10 squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared is equal to 121. Now, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, it is not specified na standard form lang pinapahanap. So given this, eto ha, kung meron ka ng center radius form, you can easily find the general form. So isulat lang natin yung ating general form, which is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey is sorry plus f is equal to zero. So basically, ang gagawin natin natin ay yung ating standard form. Gagawin natin siyang general form. So parang dalawang tutorial videos ang ginagawa natin. So you have your x minus 10 squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared is equal to 121. So follow nyo lang yung steps natin. Dito, ang ginagawa ko rito, uh, we can expand this. Pwede siya maging itong x minus 10 squared natin. Pwede siya maging x minus 10 times x minus 10. Kasi yan yung ibig sabihin yan. Pero, since kayo ay nasa grade 11 na, you need to know this pattern. If you have a plus b squared, ang magiging pattern yun ay a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mas mapapadali yung ating gagawin. Una, a squared mo lang tong first term mo. You have x squared. And then, para makuha may middle term, you need to do is, multiply mo tong x sa kayong negative 10. That is, x times negative 10, that will give you negative 10. Tama? And then, multiply it by 2, that will give you negative 20x. Okay, again, paano natin nakuha yung negative 20x or minus 20x? x times negative 10, that is negative 10x. Times 2, that is negative 20x. Sunod naman natin gagawin, following this pattern, yung second term, is square mo lang. Ang second term mo is negative 10. Negative 10 squared, that will give you plus 100. Yan ang expanded form ng x minus 10 squared. O sige, kung di nyo nakuha yung, ito, dininawin naman natin yung pangalawang part. Plus, expand naman natin to. So, una, is square mo yung y, that is y squared. Para makuha mo yung susunod na term, again, para makuha mo yung susunod na term, ang gagawin mo, you will multiply y and negative 5. y times negative 5, that is negative 5y. Tama? Again, y times negative 5, that will give you negative 5y. Tapos, i-multiply mo lang to by 2. So, makuha mong sagot dyan ay minus 10 Y. Okay? And then, square me yung negative 5. That will give you 25. So, you have here plus 25 is equal to 121. Ngayon, kapapansin mo sa ating general form, 0 yung ating right, right side. Ibig sabihin, you need to transpose 21 here. And then, sundin na rin natin yung pattern. Ito yung pattern natin na ito yung pattern. Sundin na natin to. So, una, isulat mo rito yung x squared. Sunod yung y squared. Plus y squared. And then, sunod ay yung, yung linear term. Minus 20x. Sunod yung yung linear term na merong y variable. Minus 10y. And then, yung iyong constant na 100 plus 100 plus 25 at i-transpose natin ito ah pakita ko sa inyo i-transpose natin si 121 sa kabila magiging minus 121 yan is equal to 0 and then simplify in this equation that will give you x squared plus y squared minus 20x minus 10y plus 4 is equal to 0. Ito na yung general form ng ating equation. 
I hope na sa first example natin, nalaman niya kung paano magkuha yung standard form at general form ng isang equation given yung isang, given yung center at ang kanyang radius. Okay, continue natin. Let's find the equation of the circle in standard form with the center at negative 4, negative 2, and a radius of square root of 3. Ayan na, sabi dyan, equation in standard form. So, specified na yan. Ang form natin is the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Ang center mo is at negative 4, negative 2, at ang radius mo or r, which is square root of 3. Ipapalit mo lang lahat yung value ng h and k. So dito, try natin ha, you have the quantity of x, so may, may, ayun tayo may minus sign dito. At yung sign ng iyong h ay negative. So we have negative times negative. That will give you plus 4 squared. Okay? And then plus, follow natin to. Y, the sign here is negative. At yung sign naman ng iyong k ay negative. So negative times negative, that will give you positive. So plus 2. Is equal to squared pala dito. And then yung r natin I square. So, ang r mo is square root of 3 and then square. So, hindi pa tapos yan. Kasi you need to simplify this part. Okay? So, pag in-square natin ang 3, ang square root of 3, may eliminate to. Ang matitira na lang ay yung 3. So, the standard form of the equation is none other than x plus 4 squared plus the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 3. This is the standard form of the equation of the circle in problem number 2. So, I have here two examples or two uh, item activity na ipapagawa ko sa inyo para ma-apply nyo agad kung ano natutunan nyo within this tutorial video. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at pindutin mo lang yung bell button para lagi ka updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gone.